So the question was asked multiple times when Sona, but Sona has now just been released in beta for iOS. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at Sona, the gateway to Kajira here, and we're gonna see what it's like. I'm gonna go through the instructions, how to actually download it here, and then show you the UI as well. So I've had a bit of a play with it overnight as it was released just yesterday. So let's tuck in. So here was the announcement last night from Team Kajira. The Sona wallet is now available for public beta use for iOS users. Android is coming soon, but iOS currently. So maybe you need to go ahead and buy yourself an iPhone. And it says the first 10,000 iOS users will get the chance to use it and test it with full functionality. Android coming shortly after. So you will need Test Flight, the Test Flight app on iOS to actually get this downloaded. Check out the instructions here on this tweet. I'll leave this in the description below. Once you've downloaded Test Flight, you need to pop out of Test Flight then and then come to this link here, click on it, and then you can download Sonar. So mobile with me, let's log in. I've got my face ID enabled. So the first thing you're gonna see once you do download the app is you've got the setup screen. So it's gonna ask you if you want to import an existing wallet or if you want to download a fresh new wallet. I would actually advise downloading a fresh new one as this is in beta. You don't wanna have all your funds on this just in case there are any bugs. That being said, you can also import via a Bluetooth connection using your ledger. Again, up to you. If you've got Leap Wallet, maybe Kepler, et cetera, you could import those. But in this example, I have just created a fresh new wallet. It then takes you over to the 24 word seed phrase, write those down neatly somewhere securely offline. And then it allows you to also enable biometrics as well. Hence, I've got the facial recognition sorted on here. And now you'll be in this position here where you'll be able to see Sonar Beta as you can see on screen here. And it takes us to the first tab, which is the home page, just on the bottom left. So from this home page, let's just go through all the features and see how slick this is. Really nice UI. As with everything on Kajira, it looks super dope. So top left, three dots, that is the settings button. From there, you can change your currency. You've also got the ability to change the gas token. I've got some QG on here. That will be my gas token. I've enabled biometrics, some other options on there as well. Let's just skip back. You can then see in the middle my sonar beta and then my wallet address. If I click the copy button up there, I can just copy my wallet send it to myself, maybe email it over, and then deposit some funds. And that is exactly what I did just earlier, sent over 10 QG. And then over to the far right-hand side, top right-hand corner just there, you can also enable your camera and connect to other sites. And currently I have not yet enabled that access. Front and center, we have our balance. We then have the settings tab. You can change the interface here with the colors. So if you want the wallet color to be maybe green here, we can change that up and then go back. And then just to the right, we have the dollar sign. This is for depositing some funds. So I just click on that one. This is where it gets super interesting. So from this page, you can fund your wallet. As you can see, there's a load of different deposit options. You can deposit fiat from Cado Money. There's also Ethereum transfers as well. So everyone's got a MetaMask these days. They can easily deposit some ETH, wrapped ETH or USDC by clicking on the deposit button, copying over that wallet address. So that is your exclusive ERC20 address there posted. So as you can see, absolutely anyone can onboard into this ecosystem, take funds on ETH and just deposit them straight to this wallet. Bitcoin will be enabled at some point. And then we've got a load of wallets, which are mainly IBC wallets that you can deposit to, but you can see the likes of Arbitrum's on there as well. You can deposit USDC or Axelar USD from that chain. And if you just scroll through, you can see all the options on here. So pretty much the majority there of chains are enabled and you can fund your wallets directly from those. So this truly is a multi-currency wallet to get you started in the Kajira ecosystem. I also noticed this posted over on Twitter from the Kajira Telegram chat. Someone was asking, look, where's the IBC transfers on Sonar? And Codehands posted this. Swipe down to get a deposit screen like we just saw. You can IBC in from there. So without people actually knowing, and you can also IBC out. Try sending to a non-Kajira address, he says, when you tap on a token. 
Then at the bottom, genuinely one of my favorite features. If you don't know IBC is a thing, then you'd expect to be able to send to any address, right? So that is the level of UI they've thought about and how easy it will be to onboard people from other chains. They literally don't have to know about the tech working in the background, but they can transfer in and transfer out to different networks very simply. So a very smooth onboarding process. You can then get all your token balances on here. And if you see to the $8.40 level, if I just swipe right, I can now add more wallets as well or new wallets on top of this. So the ability to have multiple wallets within this app. But let's continue on. The next feature to look at is the swap page. You can see from this looks exactly like the swap feature on the desktop. You can take whatever assets you have and swap between them through this interface very neatly. Make sure you understand the slippage terms on there as well as some of these coins may not have the deepest liquidity. But if I want to swap my Kuji for Axelar USDC right now, I can swap my 10 for $8.46. We'll just do the one on this live demo press the swap button and it says confirming one transaction and then success as you can see i've been debited just over one kuji there as the gas fee has also been taken so the swapping worked a charm what else can we do on here if you just go to the middle button it says a launch this is where we have the full suite of kajira dApps. So these are native dApps on here. We have Ghost, Orca, Bow, and Fin. And you can also mint and manage US key positions from this as well. Currently out of those five features, only Fin and minting of USK are currently live. The rest are coming soon. And this is a nice opportunity if you don't know how to use any of these features seen on screen. I've done a basic tutorial video on each of these quite recently. So if you're new to this ecosystem, you want to learn more from a beginner standard all the way up to even an expert. I'm sure these guides will be super helpful for you and it will get you up to speed with using these Kajira dApps. So check them out. I've left all those videos in the pinned comments down below. Now let's click on the mint and manage USK positions down here. So with these various coins, you can see on screen, I can mint USK with them. Here's the ability to mint USK with Atom as an example here. If I had Atom on me, I could deposit that and then I could put the deposit amount in and then the mint percentage. Maybe I'll do 50% of the LTV amount. And as you can see with that, that would allow me to mint around 65 bucks of USK. You would then simply press the open position button. But let's now go back and go to trade on the go with Fin. So here we can see the Fin markets that are available. We are on featured. Let's go to USK markets and I'm going to go to Kuji on here, Kuji USK. To the top right hand corner, then you can see the bar chart. If I click on that, it just gives me a full chart view of this market as this loads. And you can see from that, you can then play around with the chart and see exactly where maybe you think price is gonna to head to next. Looks like a pretty nice recovery there with the release of the Sonar wallet after the recent Bitcoin dump. You could add some indicators, take screenshots, post to Twitter, all that good stuff from here. Basically, we have the trading view UI within our mobile app. So if you wanna trade on the go, you can do that here. Maybe I wanna sell some Kuji, do a limit order where it says 0.792. I'm just gonna increase that a bit. So maybe I wanna sell it for around 81 USK cents. And then half of my remaining Kuji, around 4.49 there. And then I could press the sell button and then add them to the order book. There you go, that one is successful. Just takes a few seconds to go through, super, super slick. Then at the bottom we have the order book. We've got the recent trades. And we've got the graph as well. You can see down there in a smaller view also. So they've really thought of everything. Super neat, amazing UI. There seems to be zero lag on the app as well, which is super commendable. And I am very, very impressed with things so far. Let's now go back. And the fourth tab across is stake. So from here, you can stake your coins as well. So I could stake my remaining Kajira tokens. So from this, let's just choose the pokachu.com validator. I've got around four Kuji left. Maybe I want to stake three of those. And if I want to do that, I'll just press the stake button and it will start to confirm that for me. And as we saw, when you press these buttons like stake or swap, it does the full transaction in one go. So it's not taking you to another wallet and having to press approve. It's just doing it all with one click. So as you would notice, that is the same staking interface as you see on the desktop app as well. So last button to see on the bottom right is sites. So this is essentially like Wallet Connect where you can connect your mobile app to a desktop 
site. Let's show you a quick example. So here we are on the desktop version of Kajira over on the Fin order book. And as you can see, Connect Wallet and Sonar is there. So if I click on Sonar, it then pops up with the QR code. I then scan that directly with my mobile. And then I can use the application on desktop whilst having all my funds on mobile. So as a quick overview, I think this mobile app, Sonar, allows a load of people to now access the Kajira ecosystem. If we think about the total addressable market, if it's just a desktop-based app, you are limiting yourself. A lot of the world don't have desktop, but most people are mobile enabled. So this has the ability to onboard tons of new users. More users from more diverse backgrounds should increase therefore volume on here, TVL, and as a result, those staking rewards to those that stake the QG token. That real yield should get a nice boost off the back of this added adoption. So if you did enjoy this one, drop me a comment down below. If you've got any feedback for the app as well, also drop that comment below and we can give that back to the team. And as I mentioned, if you haven't seen some of these dApps before, you don't know how to use them, check out the pinned comment where I've linked you the video to each of those native dApp tutorials. That's all from this one. I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.